Alrighty, so it's now 7.55 in the morning on something another April 5th, I think. I don't know, I, I have completely lost track of days. I think it's, what, what, Thursday? I think it's Thursday. Yeah. Chicago Fire was on yesterday, so I think that comes on Wednesdays, I think. Anyhow, so let me, like, I've been up since like 5, 5 something p.m. yesterday. Yeah, my sleep cycle's awesome. So let me show you what I'm dealing with at 7.55 in the morning. Isn't this lovely? This is the underneath of my kitchen sink. See, I got, I got dishes in there, so we're not going to show you that. I don't know who we... I'm, apparently, I'm using the Royal Wee now for some reason. But, so yeah. So my sink, it drips. It's not that big a deal. I mean, it's fine, but... It was also leaking, and I thought we had fixed it. Like, this thing here... It was like, you see like the water droplet right there, kind of. And, yeah, so we fixed that for a while, but, you know, it was okay, but... in my pop apparently put this, like, plasticky whatever this is on it, like, to, I guess, prevent it from getting moisture. But instead, the water has gone all up under it from over here, and there's, like, you know, the lovely mouse poops, apparently. Um... Yeah, apparently we still have mice. That's nasty, but yeah, this is what I'm dealing with. And I can't get this stupid crap up with the ha I got the hammer here, trying to get it up, and it's like, t the nails are so freaking teeny tiny and so down on in there that I can't get it up. I mean, that's what I, well, I mean, I'm, yeah. <laughs> don't really have females, so I don't really have that particular problem, but I would realize what I said. I'm just going to leave it anyway. But yeah, um, yeah, it, all this moisture is all up under this plastic. Seriously? Yay. It's totally what I wanted to be dealing with at this time of the morning. I mean, I know I wouldn't be asleep normally right now, but yeah, um, and I mean, at least, like, it's not the best smell in the world. I mean, I, I can't... I've become nose blind to it right now. But, okay, so earlier, there was an even worse smell in this house. I mean, it smelled like death itself soured in here. Like, I didn't know what it was like. It was somewhere between, like, can't find the dead mouse and soured milk. But it wasn't either one of those. Because I, I have traps, and I checked them, and there was nothing. I mean, I haven't, apart from that right there, I haven't seen any sign of anything. I... I I didn't have any milk in here. I mean, I did, but I threw it out, so that couldn't be it. it smelled like it soured death for like three days in here. Like, I had candles. I had like about every candle I own lit. I couldn't figure out what it was. Like, so, you know, I go to take a... It's like maybe, I think maybe like a day or two. I don't know. Again, my days are messed up. It's probably about two days max. Three at the most, I don't know. Went to the shower, and I, I had um found... You know, okay, for a while outside, I had left, you know those, like, sleep masks type things? I had one that had those things in it. You can put, like, you can microwave it or put it in the freezer, and it had those, like, beads or whatever in it. I don't know what it was. But I had left on top, like, on my porch for some reason, and I kind of forgot it. It was, like, hidden under something and kind of forgot about it. And so I, f I found it again, and I was like, oh, this is covered in pollen. I should wash this, and it said... Again, okay, like, the thing was, like, filthy. It needed to be washed. And then the thing is, it said, do not wash. I'm like, why would you not wash this? Okay, maybe that's because you can't dry it. So, like, I'm thinking, you know, this thing is telling me not to wash it because I shouldn't dry it. Because people would put it in the dryer and it would, like, melt or something. So I figured, you know, okay, whatever. I'll just wash it and hang it up to dry. So I did that, and, of course, you know me, I forgot about it the memory on this phone. Anyhow, so, yeah, so I, like, go back and pick up that, that, um, eye mask thing, and kind of get a whiff of it. it. It was that thing. Like, like, it was, like, like, of course, you know, when you're like, oh, if this is what smells, put it right to your face like a genius. I think I now know what the Walking Dead universe smells like. I mean, that was, all, like, I don't know why one of those, like, cold hot pack things would smell like sour death, but that is exactly what it smelled like. 
and it is now outside until I can walk it to my grandparents' burn bin, because that thing is not going in my car, and it's rained recently, and it's going to rain again later, so at least, I mean, I've got pest control on my front porch because of that mask thing, y yeah. So that's what I'm dealing with today. That thing and the sink that I can't get the nails out of. The sink, like, cabinet thing, whatever you call it, I don't know. But yeah. And I still have the same shirt from yesterday, but whatever, I've been up since 5-something p.m. And yeah. Uh, I also have to do one of the, a tag thing later, so we're going to have two videos for today, or one really, really long one. Yeah. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, so it's now 11.58 a.m. on Wednesday, April 5th. Yeah, I'm, st like, I'm still up. I've been up since, how much time have I been up since? Let's just find out. Okay, I don't, I hate when I go on my phone, I've got all these things on here. Not this, but like, you know, like this crap, when you, yeah. I, I don't care, go clear, whatever. Can I see how long I've been up? My... You can totally see that. Yeah, there you go. Best I can do. Come on. I have been up since. You nope, haven't been wearing my band. Now since 5:15 p.m. yesterday. Yeah, and I fell asleep at like 7 a.m. yesterday. Yeah, my sleep cycle is completely messed up, which is why I wear. The jawbone up three. And I'm sniffly all of a sudden. Of course, I start talking, I get the sniffles. It, it's just great. And I can't pause on the computer. So, yeah. And I'm going to get a shower after this and change the shirt I've been in since, like, yesterday. Yeah. Anyhow. So, I bought this band on June 16th. 2016. June something, 2016. So I've had it for less than a year. Oh, dang it. I need some new chaps. See, this thing's empty. What this? I'm like, I'm like dang it. That, that is nasty. I'm sorry, but yeah. So I bought this band in June of 2016, so it's been less than a year. So on the Jawbone's website, it's still under warranty, and I think that applies to when you buy it off of Amazon as well. Not entirely sure. I've heard different. I've heard conflicting things on that. But today, the stupid thing broke because I have small wrists, and this thing you can only like get it to go so far. Like, like I have to pull it to get it to fit. Cause like, like I can take my like, my middle finger and my thumb, and like I can like I can twist it around to show you. Like I can, yeah, or my index finger. So, most, like, regular bracelets are just ring, like, just go around and around in my wrist. So, I mean, yeah. So, I have to, like, pull it to get it to fit properly. Because if I don't pull it to get it to fit properly, it would just ring around my wrist and, like, the sensors wouldn't do anything. So, what would be the point? So, I go, I'm like, okay, this thing broke. I need to go and job on finding customer service to get a replacement or a refund whichever i really don't care preferably a replacement because i kind i'm kind of using it to track my sleep because i know i've got a sleep problem whatever and, okay, so go on, like i go on the website go to the customer service thing okay read it and it goes to this rma thing where you've put in a like request to return the product and get a new one whatever that is click on it it, it, it's down for maintenance, whatever. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go. Con I'll just do contact them, and like, I contacted them saying, hey, your web, hey, this part of the website is down. Blah blah blah. Explain the whole situation. The band broke. I need a new one. It's still under warranty. I'm like, okay, well, I'm like, what, what else can I do right now? I'm gonna go to Facebook. Go to Facebook the, on the the face the Jawbone Facebook website. Like every photo they have, of, like the few I clicked on, I, there was like hundreds of comments complaining about customer service, as in, there is no customer service anymore. Like, great. Um, Twitter. It's kind of the same thing. I'm like, there's been nothing since, like, there's been minimal anything since February of this year. Like, 
there's been a little more activity back in December, and I remember reading something about the company either got bought out or they're moving on to like medical things, which okay, I get it, you know. And then, like with a band like it is, like the band is just it snaps. I mean, that could be easily read. This band could be easily redesigned. But okay, so you have a company. It doesn't do as well as you think it would, or as well as you'd hoped, so you move on to something else. Perfectly understandable, you have to keep your company and your employees and whatever in business, I get it. But if you're going to say you have a one-year warranty, you should honor that one-year warranty up to the last device that was sold. So my device should be perfectly within customer service, whatever, I should get a new device. You know, or a refund, whichever, because, I mean... Shouldn't matter where I bought it. It's the come. It's their product. And right now, it is being held together with freaking duct tape. Yeah. Come here. Get my headphones out of my duct tape. How in the? Okay. Like actual like duck. Sit down. Yeah. This is holding my product together. I mean, it looks like this is just so fashionable. I mean, really. At least it's already duct tape color. So there's that. I, I mean. There are different people who, like, this, like, this is a common problem that I've read. Some people, like, once the warranty, like, their band broke after warranty, after the one year, and so they had to do things like this or, you know, super glue it. I don't have super glue. I mean, I use super glue so rarely, it dried out before I needed it, so I threw it out and I don't have any. I even, like, before, like, I forgot that I had duct tape. So before I try, I put it together with duct tape, I actually freaking tried cutting up like fly paper and like folding it with tweezers and stuffing it in and trying to get it to stick there. It, it fly paper was not sticky enough. So I, I, I was desperate. It didn't work. So, I mean, I finally got enough duct tape to get this thing to stick. So hopefully I get a new one or they get back to me. I don't know. Like one person on Reddit, like, had to stalk them and nag them for 40 solid days to get them to replace it. Um, like I said, it's April now. And I got my thing in June. So I need to say April, May, June. I've got like two months for them to get back to me on this thing. Yeah. Now, what I want to know is... If I cannot trust Jawbone to honor a one-year warranty for a band that snaps and can be easily redesigned, then how can I trust them to make decent medical equipment? For whatever? Okay, as for the redesign, uh, here's my idea. I'm trying to try to undo it. Now, I know one of the common things for the jawbone up was this little thing, and like people, you know, you hit it and boom, it's off and it slides off your wrist, you know? Like maybe you're reaching into your pocketbook and, it, and you hit it and you don't notice. And it's kind of dangling on your wrist, on your, for, off your pocketbook. You put your hand up and, you know, put your pocketbook on your shoulder and the band flops down and you're busy doing something else and, you know, you go about your business and there's your band on the, like, grocery store floor and it's gone forever or wherever. Yeah. So, this aside, okay, this obviously needs to be redesigned so it actually hooks properly. Maybe like a watch, like a sports watch. There you go. Boom, sports watch done. Apart from that, like, I can mean, seriously, why? Actually, that is, like, the easiest answer. Make this freaking man like a sports watch, from, like, back in the day. With, like, the little, you know, little things. So you can, like, adjust it properly. But feeling that, um, or, or what else you could, they could do is, okay, so you have the sensors here and the sensors here. Make this all one piece and then make, like, this, put, like, two holes in this and holes here somehow like make it you know where you could like tie it with like something like leather straps or strings or a interchangeable band that you could adjust i think but that sounds dumb now that i've thought about the freaking sports watch thing for this seriously all your fitting all your you know issues would be solved all the issues with it falling off the issues with fit Sports watch, you know, like back in the day when we had sports watches instead of cell phones for a time. So you to do is you take you poke holes all along here, and you have the regular watch thing with a little 
little tab thingy where you put it through and yeah. Easy! It took me like two seconds to freaking think of that. And this punk company's been around for how many years? Just saying. Sports Watch. The Sports Watch Band, yeah. Okay, so right now it is 4.40 p.m. on... Well, what day is it again? Wednesday, February... I mean... I have clearly no idea what day or even month it is. Wednesday, April 5th, 2017. Let's just add that in there. And I am going to quickly do the... My tag for today is going to be the Get to Know Me tag. And I just took a shower recently, so the towels I, I have to sit on with this stool here are kind of wet, and I don't want to get my pants wet. So you're going to have to deal with the shower curtain because, yeah. And I've got to head out soon. Okay, so the Get to Know Me tag that I have here from the YouTubeSociety.com. That's where these questions are coming from. Okay, first question. What is your middle name? Yeah, y'all don't need to know that. I will say it is a fairly common middle name for people of my generation. And one of my sisters, or one of my half-sisters, has the exact same middle name, which is a coincidence because it's so common. Um, number two, what is your favorite color? Blue. Specifically blue and silver or blue and purple, but not the same shades of blue. Yeah, I like blue and silver because of R2-D2, but, you know, whatever. Um, I okay, must try to put this bracelet on. Oh, let me quickly show you this bracelet. Where am I? Showing, which, where am I? Here we go. Here you go. Okay, number three. Who was your first best friend? Uh, I think it was this girl named Adrian. Um, who I knew in Florida. Um, I have some really weird memories of playing with Adrian that I will not go on into on YouTube, and I kind of hope she forgets or forgot. Um. That, uh, like, like, I only remember her because of the weird memories, but I have no actual recollection of the girl, and I only know her name because my mom apparently took a photo of us playing on the beach, or a beach, when we were like three or four, and she wrote her name on the back of it. And I think Adrian had an older sister or something. That's all I remember. I don't, like, I don't know her last name or anything else about her. What happened to her? Nothing. It was Adrian, apparently. Um, I don't know if that counts, because I was like three and four, so I don't know if that really counts. But I I'm going to go with that one. Uh, number four, how tall are you? Um, about five, five-ish, somewhere in there. This bracelet is not tight enough. I really, annoyingly, I mentioned before my, when I was doing the, um, Jawbone thing, my wrist is like annoyingly small. Uh, another thing you totally needed to know. Flung <laughs> my necklace right there. Um, okay, number five, cats or dogs? Both. Although I do prefer cats, but I, I've always had one of each, basically, or nearly. Um, number six, funniest moment throughout school. Who we? Okay, this is like obvious for younger people. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the time. I was in drama class because my friend was also in drama class. It was like 7th or 8th grade. I can't remember which because, okay, middle, sc middle school for me was 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. And in like 7th or 8th grade, I was with my friend in drama class because she really liked drama and I just needed something to take. And we were doing a play on like some, some kind of like fairy tale something. It was like some weird take on fairy tales. I forget the name of it. Um, it involved, like, Dr. Moreau and Cinderella and some others and, like, I don't know what else. And, like, I was one of the understudies for the play. And so this one day, the girl I was understudying for I was out sick or something. Or she, she out sick or broke her arm or did something. And so I had to um, do her part during the drama class. And so the thing about this... I, forget, I, I don't even remember what the part was. It was like some really small messenger part. Just had to go on stage, give it like, say a few words, get, um, hand the message, and go back. The thing about it was, it was on roller skates. This girl was pretty much literally half my size. I was like, a, like my, I have like a size nine and a half, ten feet now. Back then it was like probably like 
at least an eight and a half, if not a size nine already. And this girl wore like size seven shoes. So I had my big old feet crammed into these teeny little, like my feet were like crammed into these roller skates that were like, I sh can you not two size, a good two sizes too small. Then I had, then already I can't skate worth a leg. I could go str like, like we have a skating rink uh, that's fairly near here. Uh, I don't know if it's still in use anymore, but when I was growing up, it was. I could skate well enough. Um, couldn't stop. Like my method of stopping was just to plow into the wall, and turning was like picking my feet up slowly and like just slowly turning. Like I could go straight just fine. This turning was a little problematic, and I couldn't stop, which you know another problem. Yeah. So this day I had to cram my feet into my size nine feet into size seven skates and go skating towards this guy on this completely uneven stage and I can't skate. You know where this is going. I fell flat on my ass. Bonus, the drama teacher was taping the whole entire thing. So yeah. So somewhere out there in the school system, in the drama class, exists a tape of me busting my ass on stage. Yeah. Thankfully, I never, I, I, we never actually watched the tape. But yeah, it, it was, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. And I was like, dang it, I had fun in that class despite the on-camera busting my ass moment. And I did think about taking drama class in high school, but... Of course, the drama teacher from middle school went on to went, went on to teach the drama class in high school, and I would have had the teacher who saw me bust my ass on stage, so I never took drama. Yeah. Plus, I, I kind of like I was good with like the um, history part of it, and like knowing what things were. But like I have a terrible stage presence. Like I can't. Like I have apparently or had no concept of where I was in relation to how people were the audience was viewing me. Yeah, y your girl can't act worth a flip. Um, so, yeah. I if I ever have any dreams of being in Hollywood, it'll be as a background character who is lucky to get her elbow in the shot. Okay, yeah. So, anyhow, next question. Number seven, how many countries have you visited? Visited, yeah. Um, so, apart from the one I live in, what? I've, I've been to Canada, specifically Nova Scotia, for like a few hours. Yeah, that that's what I that is that was as far as I could get with a driver's license. I do not have a passport, so me. Um, and also Canada, it was okay. Nova Scotia, or specifically Yarmouth, and uh, wherever that light Halifax lighthouse is that it? Where wherever y'all's lighthouse is, it was okay. But I'm gonna recommend if anyone wants to go to Canada, don't go on a Sunday because apparently, at least in like 2002, 2003. Everything closes at 4. Like, I thought we were bad here in the South for closing things at 6 on a Sunday. Nope, Canada, Canada wins. Yep, for sun, closing things on Sunday, Canada wins, or it won back in 2002-2003. Um, number 8. Are you in, gone, slash, gone to college? Yeah, I went to college. And I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't mind going back if I didn't have to write any papers or essays. Somebody find me a college where I don't have to write a single essay or term paper or anything, and I'm in. That and if I could get my records from my old college. Apparently, it's, it's, it is like trying to get into Fort Knox to get your rec old records from the college I went to. I, I, I've tried contacting them several times over the years, have not heard anything back, so I don't know if I even could if I wanted to. Um, and yes, I graduated. I have a degree. Okay. Uh, number nine. What was your favorite slash worst subject in high school? Worst subject? Math. Math. Phew, for some reason. Like, I don't know. It was, like, for some reason, what was it? What? I was, I can't remember which one it was. I think I was, like, really good in ge um, geometry, but I sucked at algebra. I, like, when you do one and then you do the other, and I was, like, better at the, uh, the next level one than I was the previous level one. Um, I still suck at math. Like, I need a calculator. I cannot, I can, like, add and multiply, but for some reason, division and subtraction, phew, like, I need a, like, I have to break out a calculator. I can just, I, my brain will not do it. Um, and f favorite subject, um, 
I'm going to go with English or literature. Now, bear in mind, just because this is my favorite doesn't mean I was very good at it. Um, there's something about overanalyzing things that takes the joy out of them, at least for me it is. So, I mean, I like the cl like I like reading and all that. So, I'm going to go with that. In and I kind of like history, too. But, but I didn't like reading the, like, I like history now that I'm older. I can do, like, study what I want versus when I was in high school. So, worst, um, math, favorite, English, literature, yeah. Okay, um, number 10, what is your favorite drink? Um, hmm, favorite drink. I don't know. Because for me, it varies. Right now, I, I drink a lot of these sparkling ice drinks, but that's because they're not caffeinated and they're cheap. I think I'm actually gonna go with the IBC cream soda, even though I hardly ever drink it. Yeah, that. And if we're gonna go for alcoholic beverages, I'm gonna go with um, Angry Orchard. Forget which one. The green, green not the green apple. The uh, yeah, it's not the purple. I think the green apple, Angry Orchard green apple, or the other one. I can't remember the name of it. It's not the purple, not the purple one. I don't like the purple one that much. Um, number. Eleven, what is your favorite animal? Horse. I've always wanted a horse. I'm, I've accepted that I am not going to be having a horse anytime ever, but it's still horses. Um, number twelve, what is your favorite perfume? I don't wear perfume because like, I've worked in the medical field so long that you can't really wear perfume in the medical field because people have allergies and sensitivities. But I'm going to go with... I'm gonna. I am going to butcher this pronunciation. Givenchy Fleur de Interdit, or something like that. Um, like one time, I think it was like maybe nine, around nine-ish. Me and my pop were just walking through the mall, like one of those places, like Belk, Sears, Hex, Dillard's, one of those. I don't know which one. And just walk along, and this like some lady just hands me a perfume sample, like the little bitty perfume samples. Just hands it to me, and like and some and like some other stuff. Or some, I forget what else, but just gives me a perfume sample. I'm like, cool, thanks. And like, I still have, like, it smells good and I still have it. It still smells, like, I can like open every once in a while and I can still, like, it still smells. I don't open it that often because I've had it since I was nine. So, yeah. I'm doing this a lot, but you know, whatever. Um, number 13, tea or coffee? Both. I'm trying to scroll down. Number 14. What what would you or have you name your children? I don't have kids. Um, right now, I like the um, names Anora Marin for a girl. Um, it's like, okay, so the Anora part is, is a, it's kind of a combination of names for my family. I have several Anns in my family and a few Noras. And it like, I can get two names in one go. And if she like, doesn't like the Aunt Anora, she can go by Ann, Annie, Anna even, or Nora, whatever. It's like, I like names with options. And Marin, um, it means of the, it actually was one of my old usernames, kind of. Or part, it was part of an old username. It's not anymore because that would be tacky. Um, but Marin means of the sea. And my parents were both in the Navy when they met. So it's kind of, I guess it's a way of going back to them and the Navy because like, I wouldn't exist if the Navy didn't insist on recruiting people. So, yeah. And for a boy, I like Theoden Charlie. Yeah, Lord of the Rings. As I mentioned in my last video, I like the name Theo, but I hate Theodore. And Charlie is was an ancestor's name. So, after him. Yeah. And I do have other names besides that, because, like, I, I'm single. I don't have a significant other so they may veto these names i am not dead set on these names because i don't know what their last name would be and i don't want to give them embarrassing initials so yeah um number 15 what sports do you play slash have you played i don't like sports um unless you count horse like no i took horseback riding in college and i like that but that never and that never got to sports level but if i could could have stayed with it and gone into some sporting type thing with it, I totally would have, but budget and time and whatever else, it, it never happened. Um, where am I at? Number 16, what is your favorite book? Mm, I, I don't know really. 
I, I like buying books, but I always forget to read the books. Yeah. Um, what am I, I had a book I was reading, but I can't remember the heck it was. All right, now I'm reading some, what am I reading right now? Uh, why would, why did they wear that? I think it's a Tim Gunn book. Yeah, it, it, it does have a lot of pictures, but like it has a history of fashion and like little tidbits of information. So I can pick it up and read it for however long I want, set it down, and I could come back two weeks later and not miss a thing because each like tidbit is different. I like, basically I like books that I could have like short stories in them. So I can pick them up, read read a little bit, and close it, and come back to it like however long because it takes me forever to read anything because I set things down and wander off and ADD and all that, yeah. Um, this is a very hand flappy video, apparently, so. Um, what else? Do, 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 do. Where am I at? I keep losing my place. Um, okay. 17, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? My favorite YouTubers? I don't know, um... I watch a lot of makeup movie, makeup ones. <coughs> I watch Graveyard. I'm gonna forget names here. Uh, Graveyard Girl, Melissa Autry, um, all th all theme docs, all the med all the med doc. I don't know her name. I can't pronounce it. But um, really, I watch a lot of people who post like BBC documentaries. Um, that's why top t top tens. Um, today I found out, or today I learned, which I forget what which, which one it is. Um, well, do I watch several ASMR videos? I'm forgetting several, but yeah. Basically, I watch makeup makeup videos, s several Star Wars people, like Hello Greedo, um, s and people I'm, like, names I'm forgetting. Like, so, makeup, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, ASMR, like, fact type things, and documentaries. That's basically what I watch. And I, I don't find any person, like, I frequently go into the search and type, you know, Ancestry DNA results, 23andMe results, like, DNA test results, to, like, or, like, genealogy type anything. Um, number 18, what is your favorite movie? Star Wars, the entire thing, followed by Lord of the, Lord of the Rings. I don't, no, I don't know, maybe Lord of the Rings first, then Star Wars? Because let's face it, much as I, as much as I love Star Wars, they got some hokey dialogue. I mean, yeah, some of those things you know nobody would ever say in real life. Um, let's see. Number 19, are you single or taken? Single, but not available. Um, because I'm fine on my own right now, whatever. Number 20, what is your idea of an ideal first date? I have no idea. Just go somewhere, do something, because there's nothing to do here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I think it's like the typical thing, dinner? I don't know, that, that, that seems more like, how, how are you supposed to talk to somebody when your mouth's full of food? Like, how, how did, like, I never understood that. You know, you go on a first date, you go somewhere to eat, and your mouth is full of food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although, I will say this. My, um, I know, like, I don't know if I'm traditional or not in the sense of who pays, Basically, I think whoever suggests the place should be the one who pays, at least at first. Like, if I said just, hey, let's go, where can I think, I'm trying to think of somewhere that's fairly common. Thinking, like, let's go, to, like, I'm like, hey, let's go to P.F. Chang's. If I suggest it, then clearly I have an idea what the budget is I should pay. If you suggest something, you should pay. And then later on, you can, like, did, like, I don't know, split the bill or, or go take turns or do whatever. But, yeah. Um, number 20, how many girlfriends, boyfriends have you had? Zero. Unless you count the one boy who, who called me his girlfriend when I was, when we were in, let me rephrase off this, right? I got, I haven't slept yet, so, yeah. Okay, zero, unless you count the one boy in preschool who called me his girlfriend after I decked him when I was like three or four years old. I have no idea who he was. But apparently, when I when a Tartarus was around three or four, I think maybe three, I punched some, but, some little boy and then he went around calling me his girlfriend because apparently that's how you get a boyfriend, you deck him. Okie dokie. Number 22. Favorite memory from childhood? 
I can't remember what I ate three days ago. Um, seeing Star Wars when I was in middle school? Let's go with that. That counts as childhood, right? I'm sure they mean like a little kid, but I don't remember that much. Um, Star Wars. Because Star Wars is always a good answer. Uh, number 23. Do you speak any different languages and how well? Um, I, I can understand a little bit of Spanish because I took it so long in school, but um, my comprehension is a little off. I can pick out a few words because when you're learning Spanish from a pe person who's a native English speaker, they tend to speak it slowly. You can hear each and an individual word. When I'm listening, when I'm trying to listen to a native like Spanish speaker, they speak so fast, I can't break apart the words to tell what they're saying. Good God, this is a long video. I just noticed this is a 20 minute video. Okay, Ooh, let's hurry it up here. Um, number 24, do you have any siblings? I have half-siblings and step-siblings. We're just going to go with that. Uh, 25, how would you describe your fashion sense? My fashion sense is I, um, I'm broke and I can't afford my fashion sense. My fashion sense is what I have in my closet that still fits. Number 26, what is your favorite restaurant? Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Okay, it's not really, but it's one of the more common ones, so we're going to go with Chick-fil-A because... Yeah, I don't want to give away my location. Um, 27, what are some of your favorite TV shows? I like all the Chicago shows, um, Rainbart, and Chicago shows and the NCIS, and NCIS New Orleans and Bull, yeah, and APB. Um, Scorpion is okay. I liked Scorpion earlier before it jumped the shark every single episode. It's like, a, like right now, Scorpion is a combination of jump the, jumping the shark and trying to be MacGyver. It's... Yeah, whatever. Um, 28. Mac or PC? PC. 29. What phone do you have? I have an Android. And number 30. Tell us one of your bad habits. I suck at cleaning. My house looks like a pigsty. That's a pretty bad habit. And that's enough. I've got to head out to dinner. Bye.